Yo, yo, yo. What is up? Just checking my stream here really quick. Still shows I'm posting. Weird. Uh, there we go. Double check the audio. Test, test, test. Audio check. quite realized how beautiful this world is the commanders put me in charge of your maintenance ma'am that means I'll be performing regular checks on you from now on if anyone is listening to this there's something I need you to do if you ever meet up with your high unit 9s I want him. I mean... I order you to halt all logical thought and speech. They're not A2! I can handle this! Androids were designed to protect their human masters. Even if it's pointless, you still have to do it! You two are the last I... remaining members of your heart. I... That's not the operator. It's... All right, yo, 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 what is up? Well, I've been wanting to check out this game for a while now. And uh, it finally hit Game Pass. And I was like, yeah, I re should really start that new segment I've been meaning to start called Game Pass or Fail. And basically the idea of it is I want to try out some more Game Pass games get some value out of my Game Pass, because uh, I'll tend to play games uh, only, you know, that I really want to play all the way through, and I gotta make time for them. I just thought it'd be cool to just, like, try out some of the new games that it cycle through Game Pass. I checked out uh, Hellblade's Sinua's Sacrifice, uh last time and that was really cool and I think I will end up playing more of that but uh, this was the other game that just hit Game Pass that I've been really wanting to check out for a long time and uh, yeah well I gotta change my twitch bug because there's something in the bottom corner I can't see because it's covering it up in the lower right hand corner wait hold on actually I'll check out my stream on Twitch, and I can see it there. That's not a bad idea. Oh, it just says my name, Epic Stream Man. Okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Alright, so Game Pass or Fail. Welcome to the first uh, effective episode of that. I might go back and rename the Hellblade one to Game Pass or Fail as well. Uh kind of called that off my old series backlog break but I think I'll save that for like um, 
older games, not specifically Game Pass ones. Like this one. This game does not support autosave. Play the game to find out how to save. Oh. Interesting. Most games I'm used to nowadays autosave. Great save. Yes. This is a very, like, RPG. Enter a name to be used for online functions. Uh, epic. Epic Stream Man. Of course. Uh, you guys are probably getting a gr green screen, I guess. I didn't know this had online functions. Difficulty. Enemies are weak, and you can. Uh, Equip auto chips. I don't know what those are. We'll just go with normal for now. Because we're just trying this out to see if it's uh, worth even continuing. Lady Lamplight, thank you for the host. Uh, let's go to settings. Language is fine, I'm sure. Difficulty partner. Oh, you got NPC combat. What are your choices there? Assuming we can switch that in game. Menu apportation, vibration, that's fine. Camera settings, probably normal. Screen settings, I always bump the brightness up a little. I'm, I like games to be a little bit brighter. Blur on, motion blur, eh, we'll see how bad it is. Some games have too bad at motion blur. No subtitles? Maybe under languages. Voice text, okay. Must have subtitles defaulted on, maybe. Controls. Yeah, we'll, we'll get used to the default controls here. Alright. This is normally not is my designed type of game. We are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. Is this a curse? Or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle, and wonder if we'll ever have the chance to kill him. Yeah, what was the subtitle on this game? It's like... This is Command. Gods of Your half squadron, come in! To be here. All units have penetrated the stratosphere. Autopilot systems green across the board. This is Operator 60. All units confirmed. We've passed the 50 kilometer threshold and are proceeding toward the target. Understood. Once you reach their anti air defenses, proceed to manual attack formation. Then destroy the Goliath class unit by any means necessary and gather what data you can. Understood. Oh, oh shit. 12H down. All units activate manual mode and rely on visuals to evade. Already engaged. Free movement unlocked. Origin point of long range lasers confirmed. <laughs> 11B down. Our HO229 cancelers are ineffective. Alert. Enemy unit sighted ahead. Requesting permission to engage. Permission granted. Oh, wow, I didn't know this game. Like this down. Is an interesting mix. Oh, is that, uh, that's bad stuff. I was trying to collect that earlier. One D down. Assuming captain's duty. Heavy attack. Oh, we can break. Multiple 
surrounding enemy air units confirmed. Requesting permission to assume mobile configuration. Permission granted. Mobile configuration. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, wow. Okay. It's like a dual stick shooter now. What the fuck is this game? Oh, we saw that coming. Four B town. Two B to operator six O. All allied units down. The operation is compromised. Awaiting further orders. Uh, operator to two B. We need you to rendezvous with unit nine S and begin gathering data on the local terrain. Understood. Oh wow. Okay. Alert. Large enemy group detected. Yes, I'm aware of that. Okay. Whoa. Okay. What's with this sword that's floating right here? Alright, and... 
is destroyed. Not quite. Whoa. Is that our target? Negative. This enemy is unrelated. Proposal. Dispatch it as swiftly as possible. You don't say. Still getting used to the combat, but... Better make sure he's actually you? dead next time. That was dangerous, man. You're 2B, right? My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. Copy that. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? No. Just another defensive system. Oh. Well, uh, I guess we have to find the target then, huh? I've got a flight unit, so I'll take a look around the per- All right. I can hover.
So yeah, I keep thinking trigger should be done, but it's not. Still getting this game down. Uh, how do I keep it in there? Reminds me of Bayonetta in a way. Alright, so. Shot that down. Is there anything else hanging we can shoot down? obvious here. Oh, this way. Okay.
Uh, ma'am? What is it? I was going to send you the map data I collected earlier. Do it. Yeah, do it. You won't do it, coward. Probably the way to get a higher jump. Check out this comma. Does she have a delay comma? Go, go, go! we got here? Can we heal or anything? Just a menu. Map mode. I'm trying to get to that. Current destination. Current location. A very obscure map. Place marker. Okay. Map icons. Quests. Items. Confirmed. Closed. So open it. 
Negative. Nearby enemies are jamming our signal. Nothing's ever easy. Let's see, uh, that's the option. Oh, that's lockdown. Okay. This is a weird game. A weird mix. You know, ma'am, I'm glad you're here. Why? Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that, I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. And another thing, stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. All right, then. To be it is.
that's just our way back up there. You would have seen that box and been like, oh, how do I get to that? Sure is big. I guess humans used to use it as a weapons factory, but now it's just crawling with machines. The enemy seems to have repurposed the facility to increase their overall machine production. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. Camera angles are weird in this game, and the different views, it's interesting to get used to, but not quite there yet. I don't like that in game where you just don't know why you can't access something. Am I like supposed to come back here later? I doubt that.
it don't quite get this map. It's not very helpful. Like some stuff you're locked into. Okay, stuff not. Cool lava. Should we go that way? Go this way. What? It's just accessing random, nonsensical data from the old world. There's no actual meaning behind anything machines do.
going? That was Kirk, right? I surveyed the entire factory, but couldn't find anything resembling our target. Maybe they, I don't know, moved it somewhere? Okay. What do we got going on here? Change equipment. Late attack, heavy attack. Virtuous contract. Virtuous treaty. E one eighty.
pops up left and right. Okay. <sighs> Kills. Very powerful laser. Is that? You mean the birds? Yeah, there's more plants and animals here than there used to be. Probably because the environment's changed. Okay, I don't know what that gave me. Small recovery, medium recovery, large recovery. Melee attack up, melee defense up. Key to use. Get over there. Must be some sort of crafting or something. At some point. Alright. There should be another facility across that bridge. It's a bit of a hike, but should we check it out? It's not like sure. to get a location wrong. 
I guess even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? Hmm. I wouldn't bet on that. Quite sure how you're supposed to dodge that. Okay, that was a uh, fun game. Takes me back to the start menu. Everything that lives is designed to end. We are perpetually trapped in a never ending spiral of life and death. <laughs> is this a curse or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who. Really? I gotta start with all this over? cryptic puzzle. And wonder if we'll ever have the chance to kill him. That can't be right. Doesn't it says it doesn't auto save, but it wouldn't let me save. Save. Command. Your hot squadron, come in. To be here, all units have penetrated the stratosphere. Can't skip Autopilot this. Autopilot systems green across the board. They make you play this, this is Operator Six O. All units confirmed. We've passed the 50 kilometer threshold and are proceeding toward the target. Understood. Once you reach their anti-air defenses, proceed to manual attack formation. Then destroy the Goliath class unit this by any means like necessary. Dark Souls and gather what takes you can. Understood. Twelve H down. All units activate manual mode and rely on visuals to evade. Already engaged. Free movement unlocked. Origin point of long-range lasers confirmed. Eleven B down. Our HO two two nine cancelers are ineffective. Alert. Enemy unit sighted ahead. Requesting permission to engage. Permission granted. Seven E down. Okay, we got wrecked. I wanted to see what happened if we got wrecked. We had to start all over again. Wow, really? And then it takes forever to load on top of that? Wow. That's cray cray.
continue. Endings W. Load save file. Begin playing the game. Everything that lives is designed to end. We are perpetually trapped in a never ending okay. spiral of life and death. I'm is gonna this give this game one or more some shot, kind of punishment? but <laughs> so far not like I often it. think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle and wonder if we'll ever have the chance to kill him. This is Command. Yorha Squadron, come in. To be here. All units have penetrated the strap. Sphere. Autopilot systems. Green across the board. This is Operator 60. All units confirmed. We've passed the 50 kilometer threshold and are proceeding toward the target. Understood. Once you reach their anti air defenses, proceed to manual attack formation. Then destroy the Goliath class unit by any means necessary and gather what data you can. Understood. <laughs> 12H down. All units activate manual mode and rely on visuals to evade. Already engaged. Free movement unlocked. Origin point of long range lasers confirmed. Eleven B down. Our HO two two nine cancelers are ineffective. Alert. Enemy unit sighted ahead. Requesting permission to engage. Permission granted. Seven E down.
What? <laughs> Activating short range attack gear. Alert. Large enemy group detected. Yes, I'm aware of that. We took that out into this. Better make sure he's actually dead next time. That was dangerous, ma'am. It was dangerous, ma'am. You're 2B, right? My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. Copy that. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? No, just another defensive system. Oh, well, uh, I guess we have to find the target then, huh? I've got a flight unit, so I'll take a look around the perimeter. All right, I'll work my way inside from the ground. Yeah. You just...
Slow down. Slow your roll there. send you the map data I collected earlier. Do it. Do it. In the butt. What? And running, running, and running, running, and running, running. Never easy.
know, ma'am. Yeah, we would have seen I'm glad this. you're here. Why? Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. And another thing. Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. Ma'am. All right, then. To be it is. To be or not to be. Blah 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 blah. Not me. I can we save it. Like system. You cannot save now. Okay. This place sure is big. I guess humans used to use it as a weapons factory, but now it's just crawling with machines. The enemy seems to have repurposed the facility to increase their overall machine production. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming.
get open for no reason. Accessing random, nonsensical data from the old world. There's no actual meaning behind anything machines do. Thank you for another day of hard work. This elevator cannot Analysis. be accessed by This elevator's controls are locked and cannot be used. By Joma. Alert. Bulletproof apparatus detected on enemies. Close range combat is advised. I know. Good has lovely.
surveyed the entire factory, but couldn't find anything resembling our target. Maybe they... I don't know, moved it somewhere? Save it now. Is that? You mean the birds? Yeah, there's more plants and animals here than there used to be. Probably because the environment's changed. So, we still can't save it, I'm guessing. Nope. Alright. High capacity devices and industrial product. It eludes a vague aura of. What is that too? Don't know, but I equipped it. Key items. Pomp pompousness. Shaped after a very sturdy box use. A head covered worm by machine life. Okay. Weird item. we got um, enhancement items
Alright, here goes nothing. There should be another facility across that bridge. It's a bit of a hike, but should we check it out? It's not like command to get a location yeah. wrong. I get even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? Sure. Hmm. I wouldn't bet on that. Okay. The fuck? Watch out, buddy. This is the target. I'm going to destroy it. Uh, right. I'll fight the point. Oh. Alert. Incoming enemy attack from below. Proposal. Evade.
breaking in. Okay. Slap around. Catch him. Oh, they ended up there. Now we gotta climb on top. 9S! 9S black box signal detected. No response to communications. I'm going after him. I'm going after him. Let's do it. Crazy boss battle. Got it. This thing's moving. Send a support request to command. Negative. Communications have been jammed. gel and logic virus vaccines then access the inadvisable the subject's vital signs are too poor to attempt field repair shut current... up just do what i say hey what's up lp god dude sorry i was in the to middle of this boss fight and craziness go. good to see you here too. if you're still here we we're soldiers we take pride in our service Uh, yeah, totes. HO229 flight unit. Command 677 received. Usage rights transferred from 9S to 2B. Requesting oh, acknowledgement. Geez. Please. Oh, yeah, you're still here, dude. Have you ever played this game, man? I don't understand the saving yet. Like, I had to redo the whole first part because I died on the boss here. I had no idea. Doesn't see it. It said no auto saves at the beginning, but it hasn't given me the option to save yet. That kind of sucks. That you have to redo it all over again. But I guess if that's like how it handles difficulty or something, get used to it. I just don't get how how and when you're supposed to save. Like if, if I lose it here. Enemy. 
enemy unit. Marking weak point. Got it. Seize its control system. Affirmative. Infiltrating enemy subunit. Behavior table uh, adjusted. Balance controls over it. Infiltrating enemy Cut off subjugation arm. complete. Oh, okay. We're gonna use this arm. Uh, okay, I can't. Damn it! Okay. Okay. <laughs> you just Whoa. die already! Damn. Great, great. Yeah, it's Xbox Game Pass, I think. Yeah, it's it, it's definitely an Xbox Game Pass. Uh, that's why I'm trying out. I just don't Talk know how to save my game or progress. Bringing the battle to them. Ought to be. Contact command. Request assistance. No. It doesn't look like that's going to be necessary. Oh, great. What's going on now? It's the longest boss fight ever, or what? I don't imagine that <coughs> this is going to end well. What is that? The black box. It's ready. Right. I gotta down this and Red Dead. Yeah, Red Dead 2 as well. Requesting destruction of enemy hostiles via black box reaction. Request uh -oh. accepted. Doobie, it was an honor to fight with you. Truly. I don't know what this does. The honor was mine. Is it like freak out or something? <laughs> or is it like antimatter? Alright. KT. Still alive. I am put on that silly mask on her. <laughs> okay. Weird. Can I like... Oh, now I can save? Save, yes. You get three save slots. So you have to make it that far into the game in order to save. I'm almost two hours in. That means like, and I've done that mostly twice, so you're talking at least f about 45 minutes before you can save. So be prepared your first time when playing this game. I'm on PC too now. Oh, nice! What kind of PC you got? Let me take this silly mask off her. Items. Key items. Remove. Oh, wait, no, that's. That was the robot. Items. Key items. I kind of like the. Ro eh, whatever. Okay, now she looks normal. Left or right? I don't know. Okay. Right? 29. Alright. Hello? I got 
this. Oh, shit. Who's that? So, mission complete it's and all that, huh? The Goliaths were wiped out, and we secured a route into enemy territory. Now we can... 9S. Yeah? Thank you for uploading my data to the bunker. Um, I did that? Sorry, I don't remember. There wasn't a whole lot of bandwidth down there, you know? I probably only had enough time to back up your memories. Mine are only intact up to the point just before we rendezvoused. I yeah. see. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. Yeah, totes. GeForce Now, oh yeah. GeForce Now is cool. I've been using Stadia as well. I was a uh, admin or mod for, what is this? Game use online functionality for message sharing features. Sure. Uh, but yeah, I, I was a mod for the Stadia, official Stadia Reddit and Discord server for a, a bit, but I didn't like how things were run there, and, uh, the community's alright, but I didn't, I didn't like, uh, how things were run there in the corporate red tape, uh, and the way Google was handling some things, so it wasn't worth my time. I can only handle uh, helping out so many gaming communities at once, and uh, right now I'm just managing, uh, helping manage Watch Dogs community on Reddit and Discord, and uh, Darksiders on Reddit and Discord. Save your, yeah, sure, save my progress. Okay, so this is where I would have told you to save. Yeah, this is at least like 45 minutes into the game. I had to redo that whole first part. I've tried out GeForce Now. I've tried out X Project X Cloud, uh, PlayStation Now, the year and Stadia. Glorious history came to a sudden and abrupt end when the world uh, was invaded by aliens feature. from beyond the stars. The aliens unleashed a new breed of weapon, machine life forms that all but annihilated human civilization. The handful of survivors that remained fled from Earth, seeking refuge on the moon. 5204 AD. Humanity launched its counterattack, deploying an army of androids from a network of orbiting bases. But after more than a dozen large-scale descents upon the enemy, we still haven't managed to repel the invaders. That is why you, the Yorha forces exist to break this stalemate once and for all. You are our ultimate weapon, and you must put an end to this war. Understood, sir. I wish you good hunting. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. To mankind. Interesting. Yeah, I like Stadia. It's pretty cool, actually. I have the... I got the, um... Starter set. What do they call that? Founder's Edition. For like 130 bucks, you got the controller. Uh, three months of their pro service, which is like 10 bucks a month normally. And, uh... A Chromecast Ultra. The controller's nice. It's uh, kind of between an Xbox and a PlayStation controller overall. Uh, the Chromecast Ultra is nice. You can play the games directly on your TV in 4K with that. You can, of course, play through a browser on your computer or on Android devices now. Uh, it hasn't opened up to iOS devices yet. Oh wow, now it just lets you set the screen brightness.
I like it a little brighter. We'll go there. So that was all like the tutorial of the game or something. That's crazy. Now let's take a look at your voice recognition systems. Okay. Yeah. Hello? Uh, could you try and pick up the pace a little bit? This is getting embarrassing. Ma'am, are you there? Can you hear me? Uh, I like right. voice are we good now? Eyes. I'm fine, 9S. Is there something? Oh, oh my God. Uh, thank this you. This is weird. There's a story anyway, in the settings that takes of the care game. Of the settings. Uh, hold on. Your self-destruct permissions are missing. Wait a sec. We need to restore those. Okay. I could set it for you, but you should probably do it yourself. Regulations and all, you know? What the hell is self-destruct perm permissions? Huh? Marvel's no. Wait, no. You need to leave that turned on. Okay, good. Okay. If things go wrong during an op, you may have to sacrifice yourself in order to finish it. So, once you're finished making adjustments, you can go ahead and close this out. Have I tried Watch Dogs Legion yet? Uh, no, I have not personally got to play it. Uh, I was part of a group of people who did get to preview it uh, even before it came out in E3. So we actually got to know about the game almost two months ahead of time before anybody else did. Uh, they wanted some feedback on some things. So they actually flew us out to um, Ubisoft's Toronto location where the game's being developed uh, back in it's like April of last year uh, and they didn't announce it till just before E3 in June of last year was it last year? yeah yeah 2019 that's when it was announced um, so yeah they wanted some feedback on the whole uh, play as anyone and the permadeath stuff and how all that the best ways to like talk about that with the, uh, fandom and the community because those are some of the big changes they were making uh, some of the big innovations about it uh, so we got to give them our feedback we got to see uh, basically the E3 demo of the game they were working on at the time uh, we didn't get to play it uh, but I know some of our uh, mods and other star players in the community did get to try it out at Gamescom and stuff um, last year and and it uh, looks really good man I'm, I'm super excited for it uh, it sucks about the delay but uh, it sounds like they're taking their extra time with it to make it even better so what does self I know no one likes the idea of self-destructing but that's what regulations call for still I'll keep it a secret from the commander I mean, I'll turn it on, but I don't know what what it does. Uh, I like to have music volume down. And sound effect volume down. I like voice to be the highest in games. Uh... Morning. It, online hacking yet? Nope. Nothing about online hacking yet. The only uh, multiplayer modes that have been confirmed so far is just, uh, some co-op. Nine S. Um, the commander's put me in like charge of your maintenance, man. So I'm hoping that means I'll be performing regular some. checks on you from now on. I see. Oh, don't worry. We Nine S models are the best around, you know. Mm -hmm. Though I suppose we're not exactly known for our modesty. Uh oh. 9S. Hmm? What is it, ma'am? Stop calling me man. Huh? Mm -hmm. He already taught her that once, but he doesn't remember. 
Um, online hacking is definitely something I talked about back in April with them. I'm like, that's really like an important part of Watch Dogs. I know uh, some people didn't like online hacking in 2. To me, it's just different. Um, I like Watch Dogs 1 and 2 for very different reasons. Um, and you, you can like both games for <laughs> different reasons. I actually like the innovation of adding the drones in some of the ways it changed the game. Uh, it's just not the same as one, and that's okay. It doesn't have to be the same. Uh, the hard part with doing anything online, I know we could have been playing it already. Um, the hard part in, with anything online in Watch Dogs Legion is the fact that you have the play as anyone um, and the permadeath, and how would those work in online play? So they were trying to figure that all out back uh, in April when we talked to them. Uh, they knew there would be co-op, but not... They wouldn't give any specifics on anything else they were working on. Uh, we know they were working on at least one other mode. Um, that's about it at that time, but I'm sure they've been adding more to it. Uh, definitely, definitely talk to them about how important online hacking would be. I'm not sure how that would work in a permadeath situation honestly one of my suggestions and I I wish they would take it seriously or somebody would do something with it that I thought would be really cool if and would fit the lore of the Watch Dogs game and make basically anything they wanted possible is to make some of the online modes by bringing back digital trips but in Watch Dogs 1, digital trips were single-player only. In Watch Dogs Legion, or in, the, in a future game even, what if you did multiplayer online digital trips? Then you're basically taking a drug in-game to go onto a digital trip, and that would be like your online mode, and it could sync up with others who were going into this digital trip realm and then you could do whatever you want. Then you don't, wouldn't have to have permadeath if you didn't want to. You could you, you could you could change all the rules if you want to. You could have like crazy online modes. Um, that's what I think would be cool. There was basically a multiplayer version of digital trips. Um, another cool idea on top of that would be a digital trip creator system. Or you could make your design your own digital trip game modes. Uh, they've played around with those kinds of ideas in some of their other franchises, like Far Cry, had uh, the arcade mode, I think it was, where you could create your own online game stuff in that, and some of their other games. So they could take those ideas and bring them to uh, Watch Dogs. But at the very least, just in, in, introduced back into digital trips that brings back the lore of watchdogs uh you could have it part of the story too where default was the guy who invented digital trips back in watchdogs one and they were kind of a sound hack that got into your brain it was like a little sound device pill kind of thing that hacked your brain and uh made you go into these digital trips and hallucinate well, what if uh, the people in London or followers of default got their hands on that code and started experimenting with their own digital trips and they figured out a way to link them and and go online with each other into a shared digital trip? I think that would fit perfect with the lore. Uh, it would, of course, take a lot to make and a lot of dev time to do, but I think that would fit perfect with the lore. Um, I don't know if they'll ever do anything with that idea, but I thought it would, would be perfect. Anyway. There's no need to be so formal. Uh, all right, if you say so. Oh, I almost forgot. The commander was calling for you. We'd better go see what's up, man. Er, to be. Hmm. <laughs> What happens if you take a break? 
Oh, let's just save. Sure. Yes. Hey, a quick nap. Yeah, don't don't wear pajamas or nothing. Just. Yeah, what, what's up? Choose a combat style. Uh, he, he's my partner now, so he fights with me. Interesting. to say funds Ooh, I got a lot uh, I want to buy stuff sure so I can buy recovery items oh wait what am I switching through here is that paging all right so range attack up hood HP gauge Displays a player's HP. You can pay for that. HUD sound waves displays sound graph analysis. HUD enemy data. Displays a skill gauge. Shows a pods program cooldown time. There's like hacks you gotta buy? This is weird. Displays XP, save points. Displays an icon in areas where you can save. Yes. Uh, I don't care how much that costs, but why would you want to buy more than one? Do you have to use it or something? Weird. I'll buy it. Displays the values, damage dealt and received. Uh, displays text showing your current objectives. It's weird that you have to buy this <laughs> shit. Uh, auto weapon switch. This ship can only be equipped on easy mode. Auto program. This ship can only be equipped on auto evade. Okay. Interesting. Finishing spots. Displace an icon in areas where you can fish. I didn't even know that was a thing. Auto hide hot elements in certain situations. Uh -huh. Display text log. Skill gauge. Display skill gauge. Enemy data. Not sure why sound waves would be important. That's like five cheese. Maybe it lets you find certain secrets or something. I don't know. This game is weird. Fishing spots. Weird. I'll save my money. I don't know what the rest of that stuff does or why it. it, it what? You've got mail. You need to be near an access point to save your data. You can see access points on the close range map. Be sure to save often. Hey, where's this guy? That's my objective. Am I supposed to go in there? Look at these bitches. Hello there. Starting to get quite the imp reputation. 
the way you use black box split those goliaths are so awesome. But or try not to actually die, okay? Looking for command, just head down the hall to the left. Server administration room is to the right. Take care. See you around. Uh, okay, that's my room. 9S, that's his room. Should I sleep in his bed? Nah. <laughs> Somebody else's room. Hey. Hey. You've been using your recovery items. Everyone from R&D is proud. You can buy them from terminals. Hey, yeah. A uh, small G luck. Plus obtained, whatever that is. We're just stealing shit out of people's rooms now. Terminal. Eight B. Uh, okay. Plants and animals on Earth. Jealous. Combat troops, I get to go down there. What about you? Important seeing everyone come back. Includes you guys, okay? So be careful. Seven B. Oh, she's sleeping. With like, I don't think she's wearing anything down below there. Hanger. Never get tired of looking at Earth. Hanger, you can get into it. Elevator to your left. Cool. So this is my room. Access point. Quick save. Ah, okay. Where I'm supposed to go? That's command. Hey, more luck. Talk to those guys already. Nothing in there. I just let this quick save. Talk to her already. I get you, but that's just how it is. Trying to develop more. Alright. Terminal. Okay, what's the terminal? Can't access that right now. Shop. Any maintenance done? We've come to the right person. By uh, this affects my robot. Where's the ball for laser? Uh, analyzes all enemies in a fixed radius, allowing combatants to deliver a series of deadly slashes to those who are caught within it. Interesting. Summons a mass of energy that unleashes a devastating blow upon targets. Spins a pot around the player at high speed, wrecking havoc on enemy spear produces 
mass energy sprouts from the ground. Interesting. Shield. Deploys a protective barrier that blocks projectile attacks. So it's two different kinds of shields. Increases plug-in chip capacity. I don't even have enough chips to do anything. Sounds like this is the stuff to spend some money on. Hammer sounds cool. Buy hammer. Fuck it. I don't know what I'm doing. Skills are first class. how you probably go on missions and such which we're not doing at the moment but good to good to know Intended to verification your mail account members who receive the mail IT operator or server engineer. Cool. Alright, this is probably command center. Recovery item obtained. Now we get over there to talk. Hey, I want to go to the mid level. Oh, there's stairs down. Got it.
Yeah, the camera angles are weird. Ah, so here's where the operators are. What should we do with this one? Can you take care of this too? Roger. Call pod programs that'll use special attacks. There are a bunch of different ones, so start tinkering. Alright. I'll send the data S type model and server administration. Yeah, okay. Automates stress here, I'll try to locate. Can you look into this? Awaken further orders. Um, could you give me some additional details? Please respond. We may be able to procure the materials. I'll send them over right away. Okay. Okay, I like the idea that like, your body can die but you back up your data and that's the whole idea around save points. It makes like a game mechanic like make sense story wise. That's interesting. Lots of people to talk to. Three G's. Thank you. Yes, I'll look into that. Cool. Offline, offline, offline. Alright. Uh, Let's talk to the commander. Maintenance finished? Yes, commander. You detonated your black box in order to defeat the enemy. Bold, but risky. Try not to be so reckless next time. Understood. I know you're fresh out of maintenance, but I have another mission for you. I need you to head to the surface, rendezvous with the Resistance, and do some recon. Doesn't Yorha have a dedicated Resistance contact already? We haven't been able to get in touch with them, so we'll need you to look into that as well. Understood.
Are you still here? You should have detained the destination for next mission. Saving possible. The surface? That means we'll be getting flight units, huh? Better head for the hangar. <laughs> Usually we can't get near flight units. They're way too expensive for us grunts. Too bad they can't mass produce these things yet. Quick save. Anything else in the inbox? Drop money, more money for 30 seconds. That's weird. Hey, baby. Uh, it's called Near Automata or Aut Automata. That's not the hangar, that's that upgrade terminal. The hangar. hangar's up ahead. To go the Let's oh, go. There's the hangar. All right. Uh, what else? Active quests. Items. Key items. Caught fish weapons. Skills. Pod programs. Pod chips. Customize. Equipped chips. So to be destroyed chips. I don't think we can do anything with those yet. Hmm. Alright. To be. Why do you think they sent a combat model like you to a recon job? If all they want is intel, we scanner models are built for that kind of thing. Orders are orders. All right, all right. To be, you're going to have some new weaponry installed from here on out. I'll put up instructions for you. Make sure to commit them to memory. Roger.
Bunker to 2B, come in. I've set a landing point for your flight units. You'll be touching down quite a ways from the Resistance camp, unfortunately. Sorry for the trouble, but we can't risk the enemy discovering their position. Understood. Good luck down there. Okay. Can't access this right now. Okay. <laughs> interesting, interesting. City ruins. Target location yeah, acquired. Marking on map. Proposal. Proceed to target location. Any map. Shows geography red screen. Cool. Where is my mini map? Oh, there it is. Alright, I need to switch that. I gotta go, guys. I need to. Alright, I'm back. Because it's covering up the minimap. Alright, so it looks like that's the way we're supposed to go. Yeah, this is a weird game. What is it? Ooh, I don't know if I tried these ones yet. Sorry for the crunch in the microphone. Let me mute it for a second. <laughs>
According to our intel, none of the machines in this area are hostile. We've been seeing more and more enemies like this lately. They just stand there and stare into space. It's pretty weird. Hypothesis, jamming caused by enemies in local vicinity. System menu. Map data, huh? It's hard to get an accurate picture from this. Our satellite resolution isn't so hot. Hopefully they deploy some new satellites soon. A general idea is good enough. <laughs> you don't let anything get in your way, do you? <laughs> 